Welcome to the FWI News Review. Coming up this week, set-aside plans cause concern, hill farmers face missing out on payments and Farmers Weekly gives it some welly for a good cause. Farming leaders have hit out at government plans to come up with a replacement for set-aside. Under the proposals, growers may have to put up to 5% of land into environmental management. But farming unions say taking land out of production at a time when food supplies are short is concerning. NFU President Peter Kendall labelled the plans as bonkers and ill thought out. Hill farmers could miss out on environmental payments under a scheme to replace the hill farm allowance. Farmers will have to sign five year agreements to be rewarded for looking after the landscape but many tenant farmers will be unable to sign up because they rent out land annually. Shadow DEFRA Secretary Tim Farron says the plan needs to be looked at urgently to ensure farmers' futures. The NFU is to launch its legal challenge against the government's ban on badger culling. The union says it will apply for a judicial review against the policy which they believe could control bovine TB. The news came after DEFRA Secretary Hilary Benn visited TB hit farmers in the West Country. Mr Benn said he understood the human cost of the disease, but he had to look carefully at how to deal with it. And finally, Farm Life editor Tim Ralph has been sticking the boot in this week, but as he explains, it's all for a good cause. Now, my wellies may look odd, but it's for a good cause. This week is National Welly Week. Events are going on across the country, raising money for that fantastic countryside charity, the Rural Agricultural Benevolent Institution. You can get involved in this because one of the things that companies nationwide are doing is encouraging staff to wear their wellies to work is one day to raise awareness. And this is something that we've certainly decided to enter into the spirit here at Farmers Week. That's it from me this week. For all the latest news, go to FWI.